So for today's encouragement, I've been thinking about how we're gonna look back on this time. I know it's probably gonna be different than it is living it because there's a lot probably happening that we don't even know is happening, but we will know when we look back. And so my encouragement today comes from the book of Esther. And Esther, just to give you some background on her, she was a Jewish orphan raised by her cousin Mordecai. She got swept up in this beauty contest uh, that the king was gonna pick a new queen. It was sort of a modern day version of The Bachelor. And when she gets selected as queen, you kind of think that's the end of the story. But actually, what ends up happening is a plot is developed in the palace where the Jews are going to be destroyed. And Esther's cousin, who's like her father, finds out about this. And he confronts her and tells her that she's the one that can do something about this. And he says, and who knows but that you are here for such a time as this. And suddenly Esther realizes that she is in a story that she didn't realize was her story. And I kind of wonder when we look back on this time, if we're gonna learn something through what God did, that this time was about something else than we even thought. And this whole idea of Esther being in the palace at this point in time to do what she had to do to save the Jews, which she did end up doing, she's quite a hero in the book, has made me think about what is it that we're in this time for, for such a time as this? Why are we uh, alive right now? Why are we experiencing this right now? What is God doing around us and through us? How has he been using the internet to reach people how has he been reaching people that would not be open if this hadn't happened? And so I guess it's an encouragement for us to think about if we were confronted that you are here for such a time as this, what is it that God would want you to do? And that's what I've been thinking about and I hope that's an encouragement to you this week.